Um, I'm Andre Brodick, I'm an Australian artist, Sydney based. This piece is called Proto Anima 20. Um, the title refers to the fact that I'm interested in uh, the idea that um, certain kinds of DNA, which are supposedly non coding DNA, um, and are called introns. I believe that they actually exist in a kind of pending state of animation and a pending state of activity. The uh, installation Proto Anima 20 is comprised of a darkened space with blackboard paint and it, it has four tables, four desks which are meant to be representative of the era when I went to school in the 60s and there's also another desk up on the wall as well. The reason the, the room is like this is because I'm referring back to the past because I've used this intronic DNA as a drawing medium inside E. coli bacteria and the E. coli bacteria is a BL21 strain which is a quite common strain used. So I actually have transformed some bacteria by putting some of this intronic DNA which comes from a specific gene and that gene is referred to by its acronym as APOE and there are four variations of this hence we have basically four tables we have four lights so I've actually drawn some images of some young boys that will gradually deteriorate and age become darker from pink to darker deeper red and it's really making reference to memory of the past because Alzheimer's which this drawing material comprises some Alzheimer's gene. Alzheimer's, late onset Alzheimer's, is a, is a predicament, an affliction where people tend to recall things back, and in my case it would be the 60s, and they have difficulty in recalling things immediately. So I'm trying to evoke that sense of an, another era. Uh, on the wall repeatedly is a sequence uh, of intronic DNA that I've put inside uh, the bacteria and I've used this as part, remember to draw images that are deteriorating and losing their identity as Alzheimer's victims do, they lose their identity. So this is 158 um, base pairs because the, the DNA goes that way in one sense and then you, we all know that DNA is double stranded so the way it's represented is backwards in the other sense. So in a sense DNA is actually a palindromic thing and I've worked and created palindromic DNAs as well as Alzheimer's genes, I've created pseudogenes and, and various others. But this, this represents one strand and that's its opposite.